Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Um, this is a Divine Masculine, Divine Femme reading. We'll be looking at what's coming up in this dynamic of this connection, of course. Um, if you like this content, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Um, I will be using the um, Reckon Tarot uh, to see what comes up here for you. Um, so stay tuned. This can be for any sign watching and it's going to be in regards to you and your person and the kind of energies that are coming up around a divine masculine connection and what divine fan needs to know. Okay, let's have a look. And overall energy first. Okay, four of four of pentacles reversed, four of cups reversed. Okay. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so there's a lot of change coming up. Change in the relationship and change for this person. Possible change of mind and change of heart. Um, Four of Cups is reversed though. Now, I see this as a card of letting go. Um, if you look at the imagery here, it's almost like she's she's pouring out and, and, and dropping them. So, and you know, when someone's sort of clinging on, I don't know if you can see that, but clinging on energy. Um, okay, so things have ended and Divine Masculine is still holding on to a situation. There is still a part of them that is holding out hope or they're still clinging to a situation. Um, they don't want to let go or disconnect entirely, even though changes in both your lives are coming up. And this could be changes outside of the relationship, okay? Change of job, change of living situation. Um, something else is forcing the two of you to apart somehow. Uh, this person doesn't want to let go entirely. Um, Four of Pentacles is here, but it's also reversed. Um, and this is about like keeping things closed, keeping things to ourselves. Um, it's reversed here, so... It's hard. It's like this person wants you all to themselves, but then they don't want you all to themselves. Really interesting reading. Let's clarify. Okay, King of Wands, Knight of Pentacles. Clarify each card. Okay, if we clarify the Four of Pentacles reverse, we've got the full card. So, Aries Energy. Um, okay, they're a fool for letting you go, or they feel like a fool for letting you go or letting you walk away. The fool doesn't really have direction and it's being warned. It's like, um, I get that someone might be warning this person about you. Um, so this could be friends or family, people in their ear saying, no, don't continue this relationship or send them a handwritten letter or propose or don't propose. There is advice coming here, but it's not helping this person. In fact, it's it's making them it's making divine masculine even more confused. Um, so there could be people warning them not to date you, not to continue on, not to carry on in this relationship. So they're feeling lost. There's a reason why there's like they want to let go, but they don't. This would be the don't letting go, the not letting go, and the fool. Okay, so this person doesn't really have direction. They're not thinking about the long term commitment, not seriously anyway. Um, if we had to clarify the Four of Cups reversed, it's come up with a King of Wands. Okay. They feel a lot of energy towards you. And they would actually do a lot for this connection. They're impulsive. Um, and they're really drawn to the spiritual energy that you have. And because they're so drawn to it, they keep going back to it. But the, the King of Wands does whatever he needs to do. So it's really it's really um confusing here. The Fool and the King of Wands, though, they, they can be very similar in some ways. In a sense, they're it's both fire energy. Um and they're both they both can be very impulsive and very very reckless. So there may be someone here who's being reckless in a situation. Um, reckless towards you. Okay, they're not thinking maturely. They're not thinking properly. Um, 
But again, like the King of Wands would do anything to keep you. King of Wands to keep the Four of Cups reversed. It's like the clinging on energy I mentioned because we have that figure underneath and it's clinging on. And it's the King of Wands. So I think you give them anxiety when you disappear or when you don't show them attention. So they may experience bad separation anxiety um, or like this is them wanting your attention, especially when you don't give it. They're like, oh my God, like if you don't reply instantly, they're like, where are they? What are they doing? Have they lost interest in me? So um, you potentially, Divine Feminine is making, you make them much more anxious um, than they let on. There's a lot of separation anxiety which I think is coming up. To clarify the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So um, I, I get there's consistent changes coming up for your relationship. It's not going to be the one change. It will be several changes for the both of you. Do you have the power to make something of this? Yes. This would show commitment. Knight of Pentacles is upright, which shows consistency. Um, so for the most part, consistency appears to be um, coming up here in the cards, which is good. Um, I also feel like there's changes in the physical coming. So this person may want to like change their relationship status online for you. Maybe they want to get you a ring. Maybe they want to introduce you to their friends and family. There is a sense of like making things official. Uh, and I think that's coming up. What else is the advice? What's the advice here for you now? Okay. Nine of Wands. Tread carefully. Um... And if you're about, if you're suspicious about something or something is raising doubts in your mind, listen to it and go with it. We've got the Hierophant here as well, so Taurus energy. Um, there is a lot of love energy around the both of you. Um, but this is about needing self-respect or if there's some sort of title or label you want in the relationship, it's about putting those wants and needs forward. And now would be the time to do that. Seven of Cups is also here. Um, but she's sort of being led or initiated into here. It doesn't look like a card of like being uncertain. This is her emerging from the water. And, you know, it's not like the Rider Waite deck underneath here. It's a very, it's a very different symbolism straight away. I think um, she knows what she wants and she knows what she feels. She's coming out of the water. So she's dealt with her emotions. This is like a beautiful divine feminine card here. So I feel like this is you emerging going, I know what it is that I want. And I know what it is that I, I won't. I will settle for or I won't settle for. So a lot of clarity in emotions that we're seeing here. But back to that divine fan, um, divine masculine energy. They're not having direction. Um, it's like they have bouts of, okay, they get separation anxiety from you, especially when, you know, you don't respond or you're not instantly available here for them. They're still clinging on to something. There's a lot of changes. Uh, now, the changes that happen with outside of this relationship can affect the connection in general. And that's where you might notice they start to get more separation anxiety because of all these changes happening. And they may not know how to deal with them um, as yet. They may not know how to deal with uh, all these changes. Uh, and maybe they're a little bit overwhelmed here. So they could be worrying that you've lost interest. They definitely could be worried you're moving on, especially if you're coming into that Hierophant energy. Um, the energy you're portraying, Divine Femme, is that like you are self-worthy, you are loved, you are desired, you are powerful, you are wanted, and you're not going to settle for anything less. And this person knows it, so now they're scared of losing you. So it's like a sudden realization of, wow, they realize if they don't treat you right, you're going to leave. So they're scared you may leave if they don't clean up their act, if they don't fix up whatever this is that they're doing, um, and you're coming into that energy. And you're being cautious with the Nine of Wands. That's the advice for you to be cautious, to be careful, to tread lightly. And if that's the case, um, no wonder this person is getting so anxious about losing you. Okay, Five of Wands. Fire energy. Five of Wands is like these are the wolves, uh, wolves attacking her. Lots, lots of them here. And she's up in the tree. She's scared. She's fearful. Um, they may be feeling attacked because of a situation. They may, they may be feeling you're out to get them. Either way, there's some sort of argument or dysfunction that's coming to the surface here. It could be one of the changes. Six of Swords. All right, someone is wanting to move forward more than the other. 
could be about progression. We also have the Five of Cups, and this is loss. Um, okay, what comes to mind is this person is fearing they've lost you. This person fears they've lost you for good. They're still clinging on to hope. They know there's a lot of changes, or they know they need to change not to lose you. So you could definitely have them very anxious. You could definitely have them feeling very anxious that they're about to lose you. They're, they're, they've never been this scared to lose you, is, is what I'm getting from these cards. And with the Wheel of Fortune, it's hit them in a very profound way. And I think your energy is just so plain to read to them. And they're like, uh-oh, all right, you know. Crap, I gotta do some things now, you know, I gotta get that job, I gotta lose weight, um, I gotta put more effort into the relationship, I need to be more loyal, I got gotta get rid of these people, these third parties, you know. It's about them pulling up their socks a little bit and knowing where they could do better in the relationship and knowing what they need to do not to lose you in order not to lose you. Um and you know, it's a big shift, a big um big turn of events here, I think. Um, is what's coming in the cards, is, is what's coming up here in the cards. So they've never been this scared to lose you, or they've never been this anxious to lose you. Because Five of Cups is here, and this is something's changed, or something has been lost, loss of trust, loss of love. Um, I would say with the other clarifiers here, it's um, after following an argument, it's like loss of faith or loss of trust, or maybe there's fear here. Because of anger, anger issues coming up in, in, in the issues here as, as an argument, for example. So this is creating that. Yeah, this is what I think is creating that. So they've lost maybe some love here. Oh, well, I, I think it's maybe you that has lost maybe some love or some appreciation for your divine masculine because of the, the, the behaviors this person has shown you. And you know, you, you, you might not be too happy with this. And that's when you're stepping into your power. You're going to have your guard up here because you're just fearful. Um, and you know what you want emotionally. You know what you deserve. And at this stage, you're not going to settle for anything less. Anything less than you deserve. A couple of cards from the universe. Queen of Cups is here. And the Eight of Wands. Okay, Queen of Cups. The two of you really care about each other. And the two of you love each other, whether it's been said or not. The Eight of Wands is here, and you can see these witches, and they're sort of being blown in the wind. Um, so I get that this maybe this person has lied to you. They, they, they were dishonest, or they did something to hurt you. Underneath it, they care, um, or it's like they realize they hurt you. They realize they were dishonest. They did something sneaky, um, and that's coming up in the cards. And maybe the message here from the universe is not to trust everything they have to say and look at their behavior because we can see these dark shadows and the ones is physical behavior. So um, see what kind of action they're taking and if it's genuinely going to progress the relationship or it's going to stall it. But underneath it all, the Queen of Cups is here. So there's, 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 there's feelings here, whether they want to admit it or not, especially from your side, Divine Femmes, you guys... You're attached to this person. You might have lost a bit of love. You might be seeing them in a different light. But underneath it all, there is no denying these emotions. And they'll come out subconsciously in dreams and thoughts and visions maybe. Um, so keep track of that. But um, overall, really interesting reading. I'll leave it at that. So thank you for watching. Um, I do hope this has been helpful. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, and hopefully we shall be connecting soon. So thanks again, everyone. Bye for now.